Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today is part 3 of my Cheat Engine tutorial where I'm going to show you how to take previously set up cheat tables and turn them into trainers. Note, these will only work if you've actually found the pointers for the addresses and not just the memory addresses themselves. With that in mind, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to have to do obviously is fire up your game because you want to test this in the background. You want to fire up your cheat engine as well. You want to load, you will open the process and connect to open TTD because again this is a game we're testing on. Click open. I'm going to click no to load the associated table and I'm going to load the table that we actually saved in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to open file. And try and find out where it's put it. Okay, that didn't work. So is there a recent files? It's load recent. Okay, open TTD 13 shoot. We open that. And here is our money and the loan pointers from the previous tutorial. Okay, so with that in mind, what we can do is we can go up to file and we can go to generate generic trainer. Blue script from this table, and you should get this pop up, and you'll get a rough idea of what it looks like here. So, obviously, it's picked the process up for us, which is nice. That's why you should have your game running in the background. But we want to add a hotkey, and we want to do this for money, so we'll just click add hotkey and then click money. And we shall call it, does it call it in the game? We'll call it money. So this is the key that we want to generate. So what we want to put in here is the key that we want to select in order for it to enable this particular part of the sheet. So I'm going to use Control and F1. I want to change the sound from the activation to activate and deactivate. I'm just going to use the built-in ones. You can quick play to listen to that. Okay. And when the cheat is enabled, I want it to, as you can see, you've got toggle freeze, toggle freeze, and low increase, toggle freeze, and low increase, freeze, unfreeze, or set value to, decrease the value with, or increase the value with. So I'm going to toggle freeze and allow increase. Okay. And the description item is going to be money. And I think in here that's all I have to do. So I click apply. So now you can see that that's set up. We can click OK. And you can see it's already started to populate our trainer over here. So we'll click add hotkey. Again, we'll select loan. Click OK. And in description, we'll call it loan. Again, we'll have the activate and deactivate set up. And we're doing control F2 is a key shortcut for that. In this case, we want to set the value to a specific value and we want to set it to zero. So I'll do that, click apply, click OK, and we now have two from within our two options from within our trainer. So let's put some more information on here. So we'll call it print ETD, and it's 14.3 is a version number. Trainer by snaps. Okay. As you can see, it's kind of a preview over here. You can see that that's now changed. And this trainer was created by the cheat engine from cheatengine.org by snips and IT snippets. Co.uk, and what I'll do is I'll also put URL for IT snippets in there. www.itsnippets.co.uk. Okay. And once that's been placed in there, we want to generate a executable, so trainer. So we'll click generate trainer. 
and it'll ask us where it wants us to save it. So we'll just call this open TTD tut tutorial. Click save and we get our next option. So we can have a gigantic trainer or we can have a tiny trainer. With a tiny trainer, you get a limited number of things that we can actually do. But for the purposes of this chain, that's fine. Change the exit icon. So the simplest way to find an icon, if you've not actually got one in mind, is just to go to your C Windows folder, and up in the search window, type star.icu, and then just pick one of the icons that comes up. I'll give that a moment. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll just use the OneDrive icon, click on that, and then click open. This will show you if there's different icon sizes, but I'm just going to go with the large one. I can set compression to max, and I click, click on generate. It says the trainer has been successfully generated. And click OK. Wait for it to save. It appears to be taking its time. Let's close that just now. We shall close our trainer generator, and we shall close Cheat Engine. And what we'll do is we'll go to the folder that Cheat Engine was saving to, which was in my downloads folder, and a folder called Cheat Engine. It's open ttd .tut, and there's our new created trainer open ttd .exe, and it's got the correct icon so let's check that it works and double click it for moment, user account control kick there and say yes if you notice windows defender picked this up as a virus it rescans it and it's usually fine so we could probably do with tweaking these a bit but if we click about you can see this tutorial was made by Cheat Engine by Snips of itsnippets.co.uk, the itsnippets.co.uk website, and Cheat Engine's website. And click OK. So let's test that it's actually working. We'll just go over here and go back into our game. We shall unfast forward, unpause, and we shall borrow some money. That's 130k. Okay, and if I do Shift F2 for my loan, it should disappear. Let's control F2. We heard the noise. Give that a moment. And there we go. Okay, so let's now change our money so that money can never go down. So we'll do control F1. Okay, and if we jump back to our tutorial, we can tell which ones are running. So we can tell that control F1 is running for money at the moment. Go back here. If I borrow 10,000. When I try and repay it, the number doesn't go down for my actual money, so it's not actually taking the money from me. There we go, we have now built a working trainer for Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you disliked this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.